the forehand volley. Hammer your volley. Now, what do I mean with hammer your volley? If we check out how a carpenter hits a nail into the wall or in a plank, yeah, he's doing like this. He's not bringing his arm back to put the nail. He stays close. Yeah, in this case, we could say he stays close to contact. Yeah, and you make that hammer movement. So the hammer movement will be the changing of the angle you start. If you start at a 90 degree angle and you need to hammer, you are changing the degrees, the angles. You go from 90 to 160, let's say. So in the volley, you will do the same. You keep your hand here. And if the ball comes, you want to hammer your volley. Now, before we go on, first, let's check out the GOAT, Roger Federer. Does he hammer his volley, yes or no? So we will watch him in three different contact points, a shoulder high contact, a belly high contact, and a knee high contact. So let's check it out. Okay, let's check out some contact heights. And this is the shoulder contact heights. That's the first we want to check out. And in the preparation, you see here we have a 90, 95 degree angle. He will always start with that angle in almost every volley. And from there on, he goes to contact. You can see here he already has a 120 degree angle. So he did change to contact the angle. And after contact, he already has a 140 degree angle. So yes, he's changing the angles during his stroke. He does not play with that firm wrist. Also the waist or belly height. We are going to check out, you can see the red line, this height, you can already see the contact that is not a 90 degree. But here you can see he starts about a 90, 95 degree angle again. In almost every volley does his arm structure to start. Here in contact he also goes again to a 120 degree. He's always using that hammer movement to play that volley. And after contact again you will see he goes to that 140. So he always has about a 40, 50 degree change. Here we have a very low contact, the knee contact. You can already see that the racket head is below the wrist. So his preparation, you will see the first angle. Here we have it. It's again a 90 degree angle. And from there on, he will lower down the racket head. He will make that hammer movement to contact. And here he already has a 130 degree it's a little normal, it's a lower volley, so he has to go lower. And after contact, he will continue. And here we have a 160 degree angle. So yes, Federer is doing the hammer movement. So as you could see, I draw the lines. Roger always start between the 90 and the 95 degree angle. The higher context, even the belly contacts and the lower contacts he start with a 90 but if you checked out in contact he's already around 120 130 and we have to contact yeah he's at between 140 and 160 so yes he's making that hammer movement he doesn't keep that that firm wrist during the stroke during contact he's literally hammering his volley so get out on the court Try to feel that movement. Yes, you have to play with your hands. I know BMT, the importance of the hands. Everything you can fix with your hands. So also your foreign volley. Hammer your foreign volley. Thank you for watching. See you in another video.